You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is a pack of Zebra Z-Bright highlighters. I have not tried these before and I'm really interested to try them. These are double-ended. I love a double-ended highlighter. We have a fine tip and a medium tip here. And it says, doesn't bleed. It says that these are somewhere, yeah, a fluorescent pigment ink, which I think will be pretty interesting. I do love a Zebra highlighter. I use a lot of highlighters. Great for Bibles and textbooks. Doesn't bleed through pages. Medium tip for highlighting, fine tip for underlining. That's exactly how I use them. So yeah, I'm interested to see how these go and whether they'll smear across things like ballpoints and gels and fountain pens. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna use some, some bad paper here to try these out. So let's get into these. All right, I, try, I got these from uh, one of the Zebra sales that has been happening lately for, I think, 40 or 50% off. These normally go for $9.60 for the five pack, so not too bad. This is, I think, the only color pack that is available. Wait, what's there? There's a 12 pack. Uh, the 12 pack is just um, w of one color. So yeah, all right, 960. So let's see how these go. These are, uh, it's a fairly skinny one and not as interesting looking as things like the mild liner. They kind of went with a different aesthetic on these. Interesting. All right, looks like a nice bright highlighter tip. The clip looks like it's functional. How's this? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so um, let's just like do some lines and then we'll write out some stuff and see if we can smear it. All right, so first impressions, this yellow is an extremely bright yellow. It's uh, actually the camera is toning it down a little bit. The orange, I think, is definitely in second place for me. These are just really bright, nice highlighters. They've got a pretty good feel to them. Let's see, do they, whoop. Let's see, do they bleed through this terrible copy paper I use uh, for uh, just scratch stuff? And just like the front bit where I put it down did bleed through this a little bit. I'm not sure how this would work on Bible paper. That stuff, uh, as I remember, is extremely thin. So uh, let's go ahead and write, uh, or just like, I don't know, make some lines or something on here and see how it goes. Okay, so just real quick, I wanted to get some of these uh, down on here so we can see how they go. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the yellow because if something's gonna smear, you're gonna see it most with the yellow. Oh hey, that's actually pretty good. Okay, yeah, no problems with that. Oh, interesting. So I did get a little bit, I did get a little bit of black on the tip there and it looks like it came from the ballpoint, but gel and fountain pen were totally fine. This one was the newest one. It has the, had dried the least. Let's see if it does that anymore. Or if that was just a one-off. A uh, little, well, it actually came from the tip. So I think up here, I just had a blob of ballpoint ink, which is a thing that can totally happen. And then, I don't know, that might be, might have been two blobs that kind of went through there. But this down here, that is just from being on the tip of this thing. And it will, that will come off of it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it just kind of, like, it'll smear off eventually. But yeah, pretty nice. Actually, I'm impressed by these. I think that's pretty darn good. And this is just fountain pen ink. This is um, uh, Narwhal Deep Forest, I want to say it's called. And yeah, no uh, no appreciable uh, bleed through. So yeah, pretty good. I'm I'm liking these pigment highlighters. I think these are definitely going to get some use for me in my teachery life. If you're a highlighter user, I'd say check these out. This seems pretty good. Let's just use the, let's use a couple more just to see how it goes. Make sure it's not a fluke with that one. Yeah, not bad. And actually, you can highlight over highlighter, which is kind of cool because they are pigmenty. They just kind of overlap and you get that like yellow and pink and it kind of turns orange there as it did here. Yeah, neat. Uh, I don't see any problems with these as far as uh, gel pens and fountain pens. This ballpoint did want to smear a little bit, but that'll happen. That'll happen sometimes. This is a, uh, a gel, not sorry, a gel. Uh, this is an oil-based thing, and sometimes it's need a little bit extra time to dry or whatever, but anyway, there you go. So uh, yeah, pretty darn good. Good job, Zebra Zebrite highlighters. Uh, I'm liking these. All right, see you later in another video. Peace out.